A close-up view of the safety brine valve, the brass body assembly, shows the simplicity of the safety brine valve. As, wa as the water level starts increasing in the brine tank due to a leaky brine valve or let's say an injector assembly plugged up, the float assembly will start rising up, allowing the ball inside the brine valve to drop down and shut off and stop any additional flow. The service call then will be basically hard water or salty water because too much water is in the brine tank dissolving too much salt. But one of the key things in working with the brine valves, safety brine valves, is the location of these rubber grommets. You should always have approximately one inch space between the, the rubber grommets where the arm assembly comes out. If those rubber, rubber grommets are pressed together, when the water level starts increasing, instead of the float assembly rising straight up, it'll come off to an angle, hit the side of the brine well, and not shut off as it was designed for. The other thing to watch for when working with a safety brine valve is the location of this PVC tube in relationship to your brine well cap on top of it. You should always have that tube assembly down far enough so that when the water level increases and the brine float system rises, it doesn't hit the top cap and again prevent it from shutting off.